cornered Gloria Allred absolutely refuses to say more evidence is authentic. Gloria Allred dodges straight answers. A new accuser with decades-old allegations of sexual improprieties against Alabama Republican Senate candidate Roy Moore emerged on Monday, flanked by notorious attorney and serial liar Gloria Allred, but Beverly Young Nelson's story is already full of holes. Members of her own family don't believe her, she failed to disclose that Moore was the presiding judge in her 1999 divorce case despite claiming to have had no contact with him since the alleged incident in 1977, and the one piece of tangible evidence she brought forward, a yearbook ostensibly signed by Moore, has been called into question as a forgery. There appear to be handwriting discrepancies in the yearbook message and signature as compared to known signatures from Moore, and Moore's attorneys have demanded it be turned over for independent analysis of its validity. According to Breit Bart, Nelson's attorney Alred spoke by phone with CNN's Wolf Blitzer Wednesday about the developing holes in her client's story, such as the non-disclosure of the divorce proceedings and potential forgery. To Blitzer's credit, he actually pressed Alred, repeatedly, for straight answers, answers she was intent on not delivering. Alred began by demanding that the Senate Judiciary and Ethics Committees hold hearings on the allegations so that both Nelson and Moore could testify under oath, but pretty much everyone agrees that such a turn of events is unlikely, and some even doubt the Senate committees have the authority, much less the time or inclination, to actually do so within the next few weeks. At one point Blitzer asked, Can you say flatly to our viewers right now, Gloria, that the signature? what he wrote in that yearbook in 1977, according to her, can you say flatly that was not a forgery? Alred replied rambling fashion, well, all I'm saying is we will permit an independent examiner of the writing to look at exemplars of, the, former judge, we will allow all of this to be asked and answered at the hearing. But that's not a flat denial, Gloria, Blitzer shot back. Well, all I'm saying is we're not denying. We're not admitting, we're not addressing, replied Alred. We will not be distracted, and we will pursue a just result for our client. Blitzer then asked why a Senate hearing was necessary in this case, and why not just allow independent analysts and experts to examine the yearbook signature, according to Big League Politics. Well, uh, all I can say is we want it done in a professional setting to the extent possible. That's the only setting in which people can testify under oath, was Alred's response. She added that it was a reasonable demand on her part to withhold the yearbook from examination until a Senate hearing was arranged. The CNN host then asked if Nelson would be prepared to take a lie detector test, but Alred skirted around that question as well and suggested that testifying under oath before the Senate would be essentially the same thing. You can watch the entire interview right here. Listen closely, and you can almost hear Alred's toes tapping as she carefully dances around each and every question. Law and Crime described the exchange between Alred and Blitzer as bizarre, and noted that the attorney seemed reticent to directly answer the queries from the host. They surmised that Alred's refusal to directly answer whether the yearbook signature was authentic or a forgery cast doubt on its validity, and therefore cast doubt on Nelson's credibility as a whole which could result in her entire allegation being summarily dismissed as unbelievable. However, they also pointed out that Alred could have been craftily attempting to frame an under oath Senate hearing as the only possible venue in which Moore could try to clear his name, far-fetched as such a possibility may seem, and placing the onus on him to agree to do so, when it likely wouldn't be to his advantage. It will be interesting to see how this continues to play out over the coming days. While we here at Conservative Tribune can't say one way or the other whether Roy Moore is guilty or innocent of the allegations against him, we trust that the voters of Alabama will ultimately decide for themselves whom they believe. Please share this on Facebook and Twitter so everyone can see how Gloria Allred danced around the answers when Wolf Blitzer asked her repeatedly about the holes in her client's story. Story.